Can you imagine Judaism being compared to a mafia in the Western media because of decades of Israeli occupation? Or for that matter, Christianity depicted as inherently violent because of centuries of Western colonialism? Most certainly not. So why is Islam being depicted by so many as a source of evil and extremism? I'll tell you why. It's because it is a cheap and easy way to avoid serious conversation about geopolitics, marginalization, and economic and social failures. Those who refuse to accept responsibility for the utter failure of the costly war on terror over the past dozen years are scapegoating Islam and Muslims as the source of much of the violence and extremism. Instead of re-examining their policies, they focus on religion as if Islam was born on September 11. This is as cynical as it is dangerous. And the reason why I think it's important during these critical times is not merely to defend Islam and Muslims against such contempt, but to expose the hypocrites behind it.